Hello, I'm Mike Fitzgerald with Bobcat. I'm here next to a tough and versatile Bobcat compact excavator. Today, I'm going to show you some basic operation pointers for these machines. Before we begin, let me remind you to be a qualified operator, you must read and understand the warnings and instructions provided in your operation and maintenance manual. Take some time to learn and understand the warnings and instructions before you use your machine. You can also find more information at bobcat.com training. Now you can start the machine. Run the machine at low idle to warm the engine and hydraulic system before you start operating. Machines warmed up with moderate engine speed and light load have a longer life. If you're a new operator, start by using the machine in an open area. All operators should check the work site and be sure there are no bystanders nearby. Familiarize yourself with the controls until you can operate the machine efficiently and safely for all the conditions you'll find in your work area. When operating the hydraulic controls, use the left and right joysticks to move the boom, arm, bucket, and upper structure sloop. There are two control pattern options. The joysticks can be used in either the standard control pattern or in the ISO control pattern. The excavator is equipped with a standard ISO selector valve below the operator's seat, allowing the operator to switch between the standard control pattern and the ISO control pattern. Rotate the lever counterclockwise to select the standard control pattern. Rotate the lever clockwise to select the ISO control pattern. Before you begin using the work group, lower the blade. Pull the lever backward to raise the blade. Push the lever forward to lower the blade. Push the lever forward until the lever is in the locked position to put the blade in the float position. Pull the lever backward to unlock from the float position. Always keep the blade lowered when digging for increased performance. Now let's go over traveling in the compact excavator. First, raise the boom slightly to get the bucket off the ground. Rotate the upper structure, if necessary, to ensure the blade is at the front of the machine as you sit in the operator's seat. Next, slowly move both steering levers forward for forward travel, backward for reverse travel. Travel can also be controlled with foot pedals. Now you have some of the basics to begin using a compact excavator. One of the most common tasks you'll find at a job site is digging next to a wall, structure, or foundation. We will now go over some of the features on this Bobcat excavator that can make you more efficient when performing this type of work. The first is the Bobcat exclusive in-track swing frame, which allows you to get closer to your work. The swing castings and cylinders stay within the track width when offset digging, giving you the ability to dig flush up against an obstacle while still being able to see the work area. Another thing to consider on an excavator is the machine's tail swing configuration. Conventional tail swing excavators have greater lift capacity and digging capabilities when compared to zero or minimal tail swing excavators. However, their housings extend beyond the tracks when rotating, which means you may not be able to get flush up against an obstacle or rotate a full 180 degrees. Minimal tail swing excavators reduce the risk of inadvertent contact to nearby objects or structures. Zero tail swing excavators rotate within in the track frame, thus are ideal for confined spaces. Once you are positioned next to the wall, lower the blade and begin to make shallow, lengthy cycles in a controlled manner to avoid hitting or damaging the wall. Bobcat excavator controls provide predictable and precise work groove movements for this type of work. Once you have reached your desired depth, reposition the excavator so you can reach your last known grade point. Continue moving back as you finish each section of the trench. An optional extendable arm allows you to telescope the arm to extend the machine's dig depth and reach without repositioning. This is a great feature to consider if you frequently dig near foundations. Now you have some basic tips for operating an excavator while digging next to a wall or structure. For more information about Bobcat excavators, talk to your local Bobcat dealer or visit bobcat.com.